on a recent video that I did about using my quick lift dolly to launch my twin troller, I had a little bit of an issue with the location where my original transducer is that came installed from the factory when I bought the boat. So I am going to move it. In the description below this video, there are links to most of the items used in many of my videos. They are there so you can locate them in case you are interested. Hi, my name's Jerry and I'm a twin troller boat owner. This is the original transducer that came with the boat. This one is a transducer that belongs to a second fish finder that I added to the boat. And you've probably seen this before. I made this bracket just for temporarily installing my transducer, but I like it so much, I haven't changed it. So I don't screw it into the hull of the boat. I can take it out, put it in whenever I want. The factory transducer here is a different story. That's screwed into the hull. I want to make another one of these to attach that transducer to another one like this so that I can just pull it out whenever I want because down here, it's kind of in the way a little bit for using the dolly and before I damage it, before I break it, I want to take it and relocate it and be able to put it in and take it out whenever I want. I want to show you a couple of things that I'm going to need in order to do this. I need half inch fittings, elbows, tees, and at the beginning of starting this video, I realized I'm missing a four way so I can do everything else. I'll cut all the pieces that I need and I don't glue these in place but I'm gonna to need to go to the store and get a four way. I just don't have that, but we can go forward on this. In addition to that, I need a section of half inch PVC pipe. When I get all done with this, I need to seal the holes where the screws came from. I have a tube of 3M 5200 sealant and I've been looking for it for many days. I just can't find it. I went to the store and this is an epoxy. It's a marine grade uh, made by Loctite and I'm going to use this just to fill those holes uh, where the transducer is located currently. In addition, there's a screw on the inside that through the back transom that I'm going to remove uh, and that kind of is a keeper to keep the wires in the right place. Uh, I'm going to relocate that. That's what I'm going to use to seal it. When I get done, even though I've had this other bracket for years, I haven't done anything with it. It's white. Uh, a bunch of you have done all kinds of things to your boat. So I thought, well, maybe I should make it pretty. I bought some Rust-Oleum paint 2X Ultra Cover. It's made for going on plastic and it pretty much matches the color of the boat. Uh, it is called Smoky Beige. If you're looking for it, I got it. It's a satin and I got it at uh, Lowe's. So I'm gonna paint these two brackets when I get done. I also need a tape measure of some kind to measure my pieces I'm going to cut, and I need something to cut it. This is a PVC cutter. It's a tool, you just ratchet, it cuts it, uh, and that's what we're gonna use to do that. And in addition, I need a drill to just take the old ones out and screw in eventually the new ones to the PVC pipe. So let me take the old transducer bracket off. I don't want to lose my screws. I'll use those again. They're stainless. Okay, <clears throat> that's loose. And let me show you one other that I'm going to do. This is the wire from the transducer and from the factory. They attached it to the back wall. So I'm going to take that little keeper off the wall uh, with the same drill. So there's a little keeper and a screw. I want to keep those. So I've got now everything out of the way. And since the cord to the other transducer will reach over here, let me just show you what I'm going to do. It will go on here. It will go on here, just like this one. All I got to do is cut everything to fit exactly the same. The original transducer 
was mounted way down here where these two screw holes are right here which is actually lower by a couple of inches than this one is so i want to put this one in the same height where this one was. It worked great. I never had any interference. I never had any problems, so I'm gonna do it that way. But when I do, and I put this one on, the length from here down will be just a little bit longer to make this at this kind of height, where this one is this height, and I want it down to this height. We can use this one as a template because it's the exact same fit here as it is on the other side where this one came from. I'm gonna pull this apart. I'll measure the little piece that's here, a little piece here, a little piece here, a little piece here, a little piece here, this piece here. This just has a little stub to keep these together and I'll cut them all those right length. And then this one we'll have to figure out because it should be a little bit longer. So let's do that. Now in the past, I have had a number of people ask me the length of all the pieces here. Well, I never took the measurements originally. So at this point, since I'm gonna disassemble this, I will take those measurements and tell you what they are. I don't have anything glued in. So this is, if this is the boat and you're looking at it from the boat, this would be the bottom. So it would be uh, over here. Does that make sense? Okay, I hope you understand. And this one is an inch and a half long. So I have a mark. It's an inch and a half long. Now that I showed you how I cut one piece, there's no sense in you watching the rest, but I will give you a diagram showing you all of the lengths of the pieces you need to cut. As you can see, I am not an artist, so stop laughing. You probably can't see at the angle you're at, but I measured down and I need this piece to be one inch longer than this currently is. So when I add on the three quarters of an inch down here, and a three quarters of an inch up here so that it has room to go inside the pipe. It's at eight and a quarter, so it's a total of nine inches right now is the length of this pipe here. I need one more inch, so I need 10 inches right on the money. If I decided later on I didn't like it that way and I wanted it the same length as this one, I just pull it off, cut off an inch, and we're good to go. Now, why don't I glue these together? I could, but like I said, if I wanted to change something like I've done here, I'd pull this apart. Other than that one piece that I couldn't quite get apart very well. And I could if I put it in a vise, but I prefer to not glue it. The worst that could ever happen would be something came apart. But remember, it still has this heavy cable attached to the here. So let's say this somehow separated here or something or came off here. I'm still going to have this attached. It'll start dangling all over the place and my fish finder will go crazy, but it's not like I'm going to lose it. And I'm going to put a zip tie on it just like I did over here, just to attach this so that it would kind of keep it all together. Here are all the pieces. All I got to do now is paint them. I got an old box, opened it up. I'll use this as a place to lay them down. I'll paint them. When they dry, I'll flip them over. I'll paint them again. If it looks like they need it again, I'll paint them. And I'll do the same to the old bracket that I have on the other side. All right, I wanted to seal the two screw holes that we have on the outside of the hole and the one screw hole we have over here. I use the uh, Loctite pull out of the package. If you've never used these, you snip off the ends of this thing first, and that's what you snip off, those just the tiny little ends. So you get a what looks like that. Now, this is shaped different than this one is. This one's kind of squared off on the outside. And the idea is this comes with it. It's located right here in the handle. See how this is square? This can't fit on it the wrong way because what you, you're gonna get some of the epoxy on there when you put this on. And if you put it on the next time the wrong way, it will cause the reaction that epoxy does and it will seal itself shut. So see the flat side goes with the flat side, put it over there and go like that. But what you do is you squeeze out 
and one side will sometimes squeeze different than the other so you kind of move a little bit this way that way to get the equal amounts it doesn't make any difference just as long as they're equal amounts but you don't need a terrible lot i already did this and look all i got left over and then i take a matchstick wooden matchstick and i use this stir it all up you need it to get mixed to do the chemical reaction and where the screw goes through it often pulls a hunk of material out so it sticks out i take a screwdriver and i keep pushing that in until i get it fairly flat i could cut it off but i try to keep as much of the original material in that hole as i can keep in there i just keep pushing all those edges in until i get them all the way in and there'll be a tiny little hole left in the middle which would be easier to even seal up. And then I just take this like this. I get a little bit of a ball on it. And let's say this is the hole here. And I just kind of twist it and roll off a little bit. Then I kind of dab it. And that's just about what they look like right now. And then you're just gonna not touch it and it will harden and seal it in. I try to dab it in the middle to get it to go in the hole as best I can. But when I get all done, I want almost like a, a little surface over the entire thing like that. And then it'll harden that way. Here are the two brackets finished and assembled. And now all I have to do is paint them through the magic of editing. Wow, look at that. It's a miracle. Let's go put them on the boat. Well, this is what they look like, painted up. This one's all the way in its position. I drilled a couple of holes here so that pilot hole so I can put the screws in. This is my bilge pump. And I decided to paint the part that came over the transom just for the heck of it, since I had the paint already. They don't exactly match, but they're pretty close, close enough. They're certainly closer than the white was. Okay, let's get the uh, screws on and mount them. These are the original screws. And I'm gonna put a zip tie here, just like I had it before. Let's do this one, same thing. Put a zip tie on this one. So I can take it out, push it in, and we are now ready to go. Both sides are done, they're painted. They look halfway decent and we're ready to go. All right, I hope that you liked what we did, learned something. If you ever wanted to do your own transom mount, you can do it, it's really easy, it's dirt cheap, and you're ready to go. Thanks for coming. You know what to do now. Push the button, subscribe, push the bell, get notice, leave some comments below, give me a thumbs up, let your friends know or share it. Thanks. Bye now.